Campaign Automator is a standalone product from Optimizer that helps you connect your vehicle's inventory and automatically create campaigns in your Google Ads account. We'll use the attributes in the inventory like color, make, and model to automatically create campaigns, ad groups, extensions, and ad copy using the attributes in your inventory. As we build out a new template inside Campaign Automator, the first step is to connect your data source or your inventory. We're going to be using Google Sheets for this example, but there are a variety of different ways that you can connect your inventory as well. After we've connected the inventory, the different headers in the inventory will now become dynamic insertion possibilities. And we can start creating, creating our campaigns now. And we're going to create a new campaign for every unique combination of make in our inventory. And the way I did that is I just typed in the squiggly bracket. And now we've got access to fetch all the attributes inside our inventory. But for this example, we're going to do make. So if we go back to the inventory under the make attribute, you can see that we've got eight different vehicles in the inventory, but we're going to create five campaigns because we've got a couple BMWs, we've got a couple Mazdas, and a couple Fords. After we've created our campaigns, you can pick the campaign type that you want to that you want to use. We're going to use search here, but you can also create display and dynamic search ads as well. The settings can be entered manually, or you can copy settings from an existing campaign. You can also add negatives from an existing keyword list, or you can enter your own as well. And then we're on to creating ad extensions. So the different ad extensions are site links, callouts, and price extensions. And if I edit one of these existing ones, you'll get a good idea of the possibilities here because we can use a combination of static, which is the shop, and dynamic, which is the make, to create a really personalized ad based on the searcher's actual search. So the way this is gonna look when the ad is shown for the site link is shop forward inventory. The description line one will have all static text, so it'll say seven day risk free returns. And then we're on to a combination of dynamic and static text in the description two and final URL. When we create our ad groups, we can create our ad group names in the same manner, creating the, the uh, using the dynamic and static text, as well as keywords and ad copy. So if we modify the keywords, you'll see some of the examples that we've got. We can bring in things like buy, Ford, Taurus, make and model, so Ford Taurus, color model, red Taurus, and so on and so forth. You can, you can add a, in a match type and then create as many keywords as you'd like inside that ad group. And then our final step in the campaign creation is to create the ad copy. And here, just like in the extensions, you can create a really personalized experience, inserting the searcher's keywords that they're looking for, as well as things like ad group minimum price and inventory levels. After we've created our ad copy, then it's time to preview what we've done before we push it to Google Ads. So if I save and preview, I'm creating five new campaigns, 22 ad extensions, ad groups, keywords, and ads. And you can see if there's any warnings here as well. Maybe you've got uh, some, uh, you're violating maybe the character limit inside Google's um, extensions or ad copies or maybe another reason but you can understand what those warnings are by downloading the warnings 
and then get a good example of inside each of the different campaigns what that looks like. So after we've got all this set, we can then either apply this manually to Google Ads or you can schedule this. And we can look at your inventory up to once per day and understand if there's been a car that has been sold. We're not going to show that ad anymore. And then on the flip side of that, if a new vehicle has come into your inventory, we can create a new ad for that specific vehicle. So the advantages of Campaign Automator are the ability to show a very personalized ad based on the searcher's search, and then only show the ads that are in your inventory. We can also set conditions for inventory. So some of the conditions are the ability to only show ads with certain attributes. In this example, we're only going to show ads for used vehicles. So if the condition is equal to used, we're only going to show that. But we can stack these inventory conditions as well. So if we only want to show used vehicles that have been on the lot more than 20 days, or maybe a certain discount, we can stack these conditions on top of each other to show only the vehicles that we want to show inside Google. Thank you very much for, for allowing me to show you Campaign Automator and please reach out to support at optimizer.com if you have any further questions or would like to schedule a personalized demo. Thank you very much.